Aloha everybody, welcome to part 9. So once again, we are fighting the Egg Golem. And uh, this thing has a lot of platforms that Eggman put in his back for no fucking reason. <laughs> so you use these platforms to climb to the top, and its weak spot is the top of his head. You hit that about five times, and the Egg Golem will go down. I mentioned this in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, but uh, there was a boss in Sandopolis Act 1 that pretty much you had to lead to quicksand in order to kill. Apparently that also was called the Egg Golem. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if this is supposed to be really the Egg Golem Mark II, or if it's a bigger version of the Egg Golem from Sonic 3 and Knuckles, or what, but, you know. Keeping with the Egyptian pyramid theme, Eggman made this robot look pretty, uh, un-Eggman-ish, if that makes sense. Either way, it reminds me of Sandopolis, and that's all that matters. As for attacks, uh, he has this thing where he spins his arms around, and because all the platforms are not on the same level, uh, you can hide from those arms on a lower platform. He might do a big slam attack that all you have to do is get out of the way, and uh, yeah, it's not that bad. There's quicksand at the bottom, but Sonic isn't in a mech, so if you do fall into the quicksand, you can repeatedly jump all the way to the strings to lead yourself back up the platforms. Uh, you won't die if you immediately touch the quicksand. So don't worry if you fall accidentally. And booyah, that is the Egg Golem. That wasn't so bad. Nice try, Rocky! Now here's Eggman's side of the story. Come and get some Eggman! Just leave it to me! <laughs> Oh god, now Eggman has to fight the Egg Golem. <laughs> uh, this one is a lot easier than Sonic's, and if you already thought Sonic's was easy, well sorry. <laughs> All you have to do is play Mega Man style and just blast the fuck out of it with your yellow pellets, and every now and then one of his cracks will bust open and, and a battery will be exposed. You have to destroy all three batteries in order to bring the Egg Golem down. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Eggman's slower than Sonic, and he will die immediately if he falls in the quicksand, but now there are platforms down there uh, to help you with that. Plus, you can hover. And, uh, yeah, honestly, it's still easy to dodge the arm swings with Eggman's mech. He's just too slow. This is the space colony where Eggman is hiding. What the? Is everyone all right? We should be oh, landing no. soon. The hatch doors don't are open. Don't sweat it, Knuckles. The only thing in the cargo bay are those what master emeralds. What do you mean, don't sweat it? Right? Land the Knock shuttle off, and let Knuckles. me out. We're gonna crash this thing if you keep that up. Oh no! Don't touch that lever! Whoa! 
Way to be, Knuckles, you freaking idiot. SHUT UP! Hi, Doctor. How's it going? What? What do you mean they escaped? That's okay. I will go after them myself. Can you tell me the password for the space colony control? <laughs> Tricking that old doctor is just too easy. All right, it's time to get to work. The password is Maria. Maria, hmm? I've heard that name somewhere before. Oh well. This is it! Research Project Shadow! The ultimate life form! Let's see now. What in the world is this? This can't be right! What is Shadow anyway? Hmm! I guess I'll just have to take the last pieces of the Master Emerald! What's up with that knucklehead anyway? Trying to take over the shuttle! I thought we were toast for sure! Huh? Where did he go now? Looks like he bailed. This place looks deserted. Dusty, too. This place was shut down about 50 years ago because of a terrible accident. The first Bernoulli spherical space colony, called ARC. When it was operational, it was the most advanced research center of its kind. But looking at it now, now it's an abandoned arc, wouldn't you say? There's not much time left before Eggman fires that weapon again. We've got to hurry. Let's find the cannon and destroy it. Yeah! Someone designed that weapon to be impenetrable from outside attack. Its defense shields are super strong, so we have to find a way to destroy it Isn't inside. Isn't that chaos, Emerald? It looks like it does not but in fact, it's a fake one I created after researching the real Emerald. It has the same wavelength and properties, but it's less powerful than the real one. It's designed to reverse the energy field inside the Chaos Emeralds and blow up. It looks so real, even a machine can't tell the difference. I'll find the power supply and destroy it. Sonic, you find the control room, okay? So the plan is, we'll switch the Chaos Emeralds when the machine is stuck, right? behind and have all the fun. And so that takes us to Eternal Engine, the first level of the Space Colony arc, and uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> I never actually commented on the Space Colony arc's actual look and design. Uh, if you noticed when Tails was going over the schematics of the Eclipse Cannon, it didn't seem to have those fins at the bottom. I always like to think that Eggman added those fins just so we could have this whole mustache motif going on. Because you know Eggman, he's a bit of a narcissist, and as soon as he uh, was prepping the Eclipse ca the eclipse Cannon, shall we say, I like to imagine he put the fins on the Space Colony arc. Though I can't remember if Shadow the Hedgehog showed the Space Colony arc before uh, Eggman found it in Sonic Adventure 2. I don't think he did. I don't think it did, but I might be wrong. Anywho, uh, this level is pretty crazy. It's, e it's easily, in my opinion, the hardest of the mech levels because of uh, two things. Basically, there are a lot of enemies in this level, and I mean a lot. And they're not just the gun troops either. They have a special liquidy enemy that I'll talk about when we get to them. But uh, there's a lot of enemies. Plus, there's lots of dynamite all over the place. I don't know if Eggman rigged this place up like that, but... Uh, it actually helps your score to attack the dynamite because it counts as a lock-on feature, right? So you can choose to lock onto the dynamite and get more points, but it will be destroying the airlock doors, and the airlock doors can fuck you up the most in Eternal Engine. You'll be walking along, you accidentally blow up the doors because, hey, it's dynamite and you can lock onto it, right? And then you're walking by it and all of a sudden space just sort of sucks you in and... Bye, Tails, gone forever. <laughs> Uh, not to mention, there's lots of nuclear bombs going all over the place. And by nuclear bombs, I mean, like, they have these green tubes that are going up and down uh, throughout these areas. And, um, 
The green tubes, if you shoot them, and you can lock onto them just like you can the dynamite, they will explode and they will take off a big chunk of your health if you run into that explosion. So yeah, there's lots of hazards in Eternal Engine, and oh, there's the blue guy, there's the blue enemies. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to the Artificial Chaos. Yes, Professor Gerald, for whatever fucking reason. And yes, this is Professor Gerald's doing. This is not Dr. Eggman's doing. I guess he found out about P Pachacamax Echidna Tribe, and he created his own Artificial Chaos? I don't understand how it works. <laughs> This was just the game's way of introducing a harder enemy into the later levels of the game. Like, the Space Colony arc needs harder enemies. What should we put in there? Uh, uh, the... Hey, you remember Chaos from the original Sonic Adventure? What if he came back? Well, that doesn't make sense. Well, what if Professor Gerald made artificial chaos? By God, Johnson. <laughs> you better stick around when we make a game called Sonic 06. Because <laughs> I like your ideas. Okay, I don't have anything against artificial chaos as an idea. It's just... Why chaos? Why not some kind of rubber band liquid life form thing? Or not liquid life form, but what kind of rubber band life form that Gerald created while trying to make Shadow the ultimate life form? Why does it have to be artificial chaos? I don't know. It's not a huge problem, but still. The artificial chaos are a real pain in the ass because they have water tentacles that can just really reach out and grab you when you least expect it. They're harder than any Chaos boss fight in the original Sonic Adventure, dare I say it. And, uh, yeah, you have to watch out for those motherfuckers, definitely. Oh, God. You gotta push a button which opens that door. That's why I got up there to no avail. This is the button you need to push. And, uh, then you use these springs to get higher, and booyah. We're trying to get to Tails' last upgrade in the game. Well, the last one via the story. There's still some extra upgrades that I need to find, but we got the Vulcan Cannon. Just like it is with Eggman, you can destroy iron containers. IRON! I don't care! IRON! <laughs> it's also a good idea to shoot the iron containers, like all of them, because they're all worth like 200 points as well, so... If you see some containers, or boxes, or anything destructible, really, destroy them, because it can help. And there's the airlock bullshit I was talking about. The airlock can really screw you up. If I shot the last dynamite there, there would have been an airlock right below the string, and that can easily kill you. That's why I didn't bother shooting the dynamite, because I didn't want to die. I wanted my A rank, because I'm on an A rank fucking roll, ladies and gentlemen. It's amazing how much of a roll I'm on with this A rank. There's your golden gun beetle to the left. I'm not sure how this works. I'm not sure why Tails is floating, <laughs> but whatever. A good way to lock onto the enemies here is actually to go into hover mode. That way Tails straightens out and his homing laser can uh, easily detect the enemies and whatnot. Oh, fuck. See, that's that tentacle bullshit I'm talking about. I'm not doing too good. My, my health is dangerously low. No amount of rings can save me if I get into any trouble. Oh no! Ah! Oh, I had a perfect A rank streak going on! I didn't die once! I was rocking it! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. God damn it! God damn it! I had such a good A rank streak going on. I could have made this a perfect playthrough. And those fucking enemies, there's so many of them, and they all come out of nowhere when you open the doors, and Artificial Chaos's tentacles can suck my dick. God damn it! Oh well. And literally, I was right at the end too, right past this Mission Impossible laser dodging segment. <laughs> Use your hover wisely. Oh, and there's a health kit. God damn it! But uh, you just destroy all these buttons here at the core. And uh, yeah, that's it. Fucking Eternal Engine. You ruined everything, damn it. You ruined everything. Yeah, the lowest rank you can get in this game is rank E. There is no F. F would assume you failed the mission, obviously. So let's see what I got. Oh. I gotta do better next time. Oh, God. God 
Damn it, no! Fuck you, Tails! Anywho, folks, will rejoin Knuckles and Rouge for arguably the worst levels in the game uh, in part 10. See you then.